So. Woo! I don't understand how Vegeta didn't die after that. Very likely Smitty's final moments were nothing but pure agony. What? Whoa! What is good with y'all young boys and girls? I'm saying thoughts. This is the same life. Welcome back to another video. Today I got a very special reaction for y'all. We got top 10 brutal Dragon Ball moments. All right. Now when I think of Dragon Ball brutal moments, one of the first ones that come to mind, at least for me, bro, was when Vegeta got killed by Frieza on Planet Nami. I'm talking about after he done cried to Goku and told him, please, Goku, you have to defeat this bastard Frieza. And then Frieza just said, I'm tired of hearing this dude talk. Just laser tagged him right in the chest blood gushing out tears coming out i fell for vegeta bro like, my heart was going out for vegeta another one that come to mind vegeta son trunks he ended up getting his revenge on uh frieza he ended up slicing he was slicing uh frieza like a fucking meal bro and then just destroyed destroyed frieza to dust man that that was another brutal moment another one with vegeta when he turned majin blue and he literally destroyed the crowd in the world tournament he literally didn't give no fuck but even though he was under control but still i didn't think he was gonna pull the trigger and kill people in the crowd but those are just you know some that come to my mind bro but we're gonna see what he the top 10 ones man if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like let's get right to the video hey guys it's ashley with watch mojo and these are the top 10 most brutal moments in dragon ball merciless moments that happened to both heroes and villains my dog vegeta franchise. fair warning these moments are not for the faint of heart is there an anime list you want to see next then give me a follow on twitter at ash j bow and let me know ash j bro and let me know i like the rhyming oh i, I should have said that one too that was brutal Estimating this android will land you in a whole world of she literally broke his arm the way they edited it too i mean they, the way they animated it too like for vegeta he had to learn this lesson the hard way as the two engage in battle it looks as though they are equally matched however due nah. to android 18's infinite energy reserves she can fight on without fear that's crazy she picked him up with her index finger As Vegeta's energy plummets, 18 establishes her dominance over him. I hate that they did this to Vegeta because he just obtained Super Saiyan. Uh, look how they animated it. Ah, look how they animated it. Ah. Vegeta's trained in over 400 times its gravity. It's he suffered as 18 shatters his arm and his pride in a sick. Oh, man. Super Boo kills a man from the inside. Dragon Ball Z. Out of all the countless atrocities Super Boo has committed, the first life he takes in his grand debut is both memorable as well as bloody terrifying. Upon his birth, Super Boo turns his sights on Smitty. One of the two men responsible for shooting his dog and destroying his Oh, home. this is when uh Super Boo first okay. Smitty attempts to gun Boo down. I like this version of Boo the best though. This one and Kid Boo. Super Boo then retaliates by gleefully flying his entire being down Smitty's throat. <laughs> As his body slowly expands to Oh, I forgot about this. What? Head, it's very likely Smitty's final moments were nothing but pure agony. What? Whoa! I don't remember seeing this in Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z. In their mission to stop the Nappa chops off Tien's arm. Learn just how big the universe is when they're forced to confront this big lug. Well, if there's not a volunteer Oh, uh, yeah, I remember this. They took apart them Earthlings one by one. Yamcha, Tien, Chiatsu. Woo! The fact that Nappa could accomplish this with just a swing is brutal enough. 
But it's crazy that Nappa did that to Tien, but compared to fighting Goku, Nappa just seems so average. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that'd be brutal too. Like that's for real. The manner in which he does this involves not only stabbing them, but literally draining them of their life. That shit is sick. Oh, yeah, they show the animation too. You can see the blood coming out of their body. Ooh, I don't think they'll show this now in Dragon Ball. This is some Jeepers Creepers shit right here. Androids are absorbed in a different manner. It's still very disturbing to hear their muffled cries as they beg Cell to let them go. You should have listened to your friend. No, oh yeah, that's when he finally Six, Omega Shenron. Omega Shenron. Attack. Dragon Ball GT. Well, there is some debates on whether the events of Dragon Ball I don't even be watching uh, I didn't I watched the GT series probably like 3 times so I don't even think I remember it a lot. I'm lying. It's been more than three times, but you know what I mean. I, I mostly watch Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super. This dark dragon develops a more lethal version. When Vegeta tries to attack him from behind, he gets a nasty surprise as Omega Shenron extends the spikes on his back to pierce Vegeta's shoulder and electrocute him. Oh, I do remember that, though. Yep, yep. I do remember this. I, I remember this one. I don't understand how Vegeta didn't die after that. See? Oh, yeah. And then after this fight, he lost the fucking Android uh, 17, bro. I mean, Android 18. His inflated ego only gets worse after becoming a Super Saiyan. Mm. I love this type of Vegeta, the savagery. Look at how he's holding his, his arms while pushing his weight off his face. Like, I love that. I love that Vegeta. Vegeta as he beats him down both physically and mentally. My dog. Vegeta, that's my dog, bro. For sure, for sure. Vegeta refuses to show mercy and blasts 19 to pieces as he desperately tries to run away. When facing an enemy like... Got the drill like, huh? Androids can feel fear. Number four, Frieza kills Vegeta. What I tell y'all, Frieza kills Vegeta. When it comes to villains like Frieza, nothing gives them more joy than causing the suffering of others. This shit had me in my feels when I first saw this. But there's no line he won't cross. Like, y'all don't know how emotionally invested I was. Look at this. However, what happens to Vegeta is even worse. After assuming his final form, Frieza easily shrugs off Vegeta's strongest attacks, showing just how outclassed he really is. He then proceeds to torture Vegeta, completely breaking... This was sad. This, this was just sad, bro. In his final moments, Vegeta abandons all semblance of pride and tearfully begs Goku to stop. This is the saddest part. I'm telling y'all, this was a brutal moment. It had me. If you watch this scene and didn't feel the pain for Vegeta, number three, Zamasu kills Goku. Oh, Zamasu. Dragon Ball Super. Goku Black, man. Damn, I really wish he didn't die, though. After acquiring the Super Dragon Balls, the deity Zamasu switches bodies with Goku from an alternate timeline, becoming the villain known as Goku Black. Due to his unhinged nature, Goku Black ties up all loose ends by terminating not only the alternate Goku They should have shown it, but it's Dragon Ball now. I guess they have some new guidelines in Japan as far as Dragon Ball, so they can't really show. But I wish they showed it. 
the sound of Chi-Chi and Goten's terrified screams as Zamasu kills them off-screen is one of the most haunting moments in the franchise. This act is also enough to push Goku's rage. That and when Bomba died in the beginning of this arc. With Frieza. Now it's time to I was cringe watching this because I was like, bro, please stop, bro. But even she's, no match she's a girl. Who have surpassed human limits. <laughs> After being paired to fight against Popovich, what should have been an easy win quickly became a violent beating. Thanks to the power boost provided by the Dark Wizard Babidi, Spopovich easily counters everything Videl can throw at him. They should have been called off. They shouldn't have had let it go on. ...to stop him from prolonging his suffering and beating her to the point of tears. Videl's beating was so brutal that some networks had to partially censor... The exactly, I know. ...bloody moments. Bro, look at that. Bro, he's doing that to a grown woman, man. I was like screaming through the phone, bro. Stop! <laughs> like, that's how bad I wanted him to stop, bro. And Gohan different, bro. If that's me, I would have been hopped in, bro. Fuck the tournament. Trunks kills Frieza. I was right. Woo, I, got, I got two out of three, y'all. Two out of three. He considered beneath him, but it's even more humiliating that he caused his own defeat after getting sliced in half by his own attack. Hey, look out behind you! Get down now! Even after surviving the experience and becoming a cyborg, Frieza is forced to endure slicing him up like food at the hands of Trunks. Not only does Trunks defeat him much faster than Goku did, but does it by slicing him in half once again. After inflicting so much suffering in his lifetime, it's no surprise sure that he would catch up to Frieza in the most brutal I mean, I Do you agree with our picks? Check out Those are the top 10 picks, but out of the three that I said in the intro, I got two of them right, so I'm two for three, y'all. I'm two for three, bro. I'm two for three, bro. That's like, what is that, 80%, 90% from the field? Y'all do the math for me, bro. But yeah, y'all let me know which ones y'all think was the brutal ones out of all the Dragon Ball, bro. I'm saying thought. This is the same life. Let me know what else of the videos y'all want me to react to down below. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. I'm out, bro.